For the love of fuck. Seeing him do whatever was pretty weird, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what choice I make in this game. Well, if you watched this race last night, he, like, reverted back to panic subpixel setup. And I, like, reamed him after the race. So I was like, you, you need to practice more because the panic... The panic didn't help you. You need to get comfortable because the subpixel manipulation is, is extremely reliable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He needs to start trusting, so... Um, and then, even in the race last night, he said it was an on-the-fly decision to do the, the wacky lackey. And, like, I guess that's okay. It's just a race. But at the same time, it's like, don't... You don't need to revert back during races either. Like, you need to just stay on course with the consistency. I mean, it was okay. I mean, he succeeded and did it in a race. It's fine. But at the same time... I was surprised he didn't know subpixel manipulation. That blew that blew my mind. I was like, well, there's your problem, dude. Yeah, if you're not doing subpixel manipulation for 7-1, this is like 2014, me and Karua being a bunch of dummies. Never getting 7-1. And it explains a lot. So his his runs are gonna start getting a lot better. The thing that surprised me the most about Stu is how he wasn't sick and tired. How he wasn't like just so sick and tired of never getting 7-1 that he just researched it for like a week straight hardcore. Stopped doing runs and was like, I'm only doing 7-1. Pull up all the tutorial videos. That's, that's what I do when I can't succeed at something for long enough where it's like, there's an alternative. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I am still a dummy. Did you see me just get three three flowers? Who does that? Who gets three flowers? When's our coaches? I thought you did one with Haxer. Haxer does coaching sessions, right? Didn't you do them with the Haxi? Grab chest sooner, play better. Okay, so this will give me a different boss pattern, but we're gonna get it. All right. Oh, why did I press jump? I'm a... See, Scarface was right. I'm a dummy dumb. I'm gonna star in Corn Hub. That's right. What what will be my corn hub name? Hard corn. Mitch on the cob. 
Or Mitch's Cobb. Cobb Husker. All right, one Hammer Brothers set up for zero death early hammer. What do you guys think? IRL voice band for three minutes, you got it. Yay, we got post two three.
We're very close. We are saved. You're just wasting your points. Okay, I'll go back to being quiet.
That was the worst thing ever. And now, if these Hammer Brothers could switch, that would actually be the best thing ever. If they could switch, that would be amazing. Do it. Do it. Of course. Yes, I'm free. Boxless? I highly doubt it. I'll probably get like a movement of four here, some crap. Yo, the no leg strat? So we're definitely gonna lose some time here. Yeah, we gotta play an ad, because two minutes of nothing. And you guys made me silent, so get ready. Use those Prime Gamings. Ooh, cards in the matching game? That would be awesome. I'd like to see some of that magic. Yeah, we're definitely gonna lose a little bit of time here, right? No, no, no way we don't. That fucking water level.
Or I saved 2.1 seconds. Damn it, dude. Then I could I could have saved even more time, man. Damn it. Right? Or I saved 2.1 seconds. That damn lack of two. Skip the hammer, brother. In world six, get no movements of four here. Bro marathon sounds about right. I like that. Good movement. Uh, post two three, yeah. Movement of three, okay, I can live with that. Try to get the P-Wing there. Yeah, the Hammer Brother has to be in between 7 and the Fortress. I almost died right there. I would take a movement of three here. I would take it. I would definitely take a movement of three here. Crap. Force on a run where you get like all movements of one, right? Just to negate some of them. One movement wasn't bad. 
Okay, there's no way I get a movement of one after this, right? What's going on, Malachi? If I get a movement of four, at least it's 100%, I guess. Very nice. Very nice. That was a lot of move movement of ones in that world. What the heck? It's a very cooperative world five. You missed sub 55 by a few frames? Was that your video posted in the Discord? Or your picture? have to lose that much time. I did my double shot too, but I stand too close to him. Yo, thank you, Moon. JM, thank you very much for the gift sub. I really appreciate it. Good switch. Number 281. Movement of one, he moves up, please. Oh, he moved down. Fuck. Ah. Oh, he moved down instead of up. We needed him to move up. What do we got here? Another switch back, nice. This could be really big. We just want him to move left. Across the level. There we go. Now, if he can move down, that would be great. All right, we're on our way. I'm on my way. Moving out. What? I mean, I guess with the late damage boost, you can rush that Guam, so that's not a big deal. Fucking Nick 
knick-knack, paddywhack bullshit here. Move down again. I object. All right, move down. No more movements of two. Stop. <laughs> Fucking asshole. One, please. What a fucking piece of shit, man. What an asshole. I just lost like an additional second there. 1.5 seconds I could be lesser right now if he wasn't a big old dump turd. It wasn't just a big old piece of dump. Good morning, Krugel. How you doing? I saw you up there, uh, Mem Arden. Didn't get a chance, though, to say hi or anything. This run has been controlling me. I don't... I should save a little bit of time, but I don't know if we're out of the plus. I don't think we're gonna save... 7.4. I think we're gonna save like maybe four or five. I have a 50 45 without early hammer, not a 50 49. With a good World 7, we can save like 7 or 8 seconds in World 7. I had to do my guaranteed despawn there. How scary was that? How scary was that?
Yeah, if you take damage by that nipper, there there is a backup guaranteed that the last piranha plant won't despawn. Or sorry, that it will despawn and it'll allow you to not worry. I hope I'm good here. Let's go. Happy Saturday, everyone. Freaking bonked my face. Yo, happy Saturday. Welcome back for 39 months. <laughs> you want to see me bathe in cream corn? Never. I think if I got my jump at the end of the fortress, I would have got the, the insta-kill. But I messed up my jump at the end. I didn't ducky ducks. You wanna see me slip? Oh, dude, I probably, I'm probably gonna get like one or two hands. People forget how rare it is to get no hands. It's like, I mean, I hope, dude. I hope. What was my what was my record in no wrong warp? It was like 46 times to the hands. I got pulled in in a row. I mean that's so many, dude. And when I got the no wrong warp world record, I still ended up being It was like 12.4%. No, bat. No. Not now. Can you come and get him? Just, just remove him. He always picks the worst time. Frickin' bat. Little frig. He's such a cutie patootie. But they just stand at my, my office door meowing. Constantly. It's like the last thing I need.
<clears throat> oh, you could totally get a sub 50. The question of getting sub 50 was never in question. <laughs> It was more so everything that happens after Early Hammer. All right, that's that's the question. I mean, everyone If everyone wanted, we could all be getting one death early hammers. I mean, I've done I've done the only early hammer grind before where I just go to world 2. I die as, as much as I can. Every single run is grinding for early hammer. Like, I've done that grind before. And I'm telling you, if you want early hammers, you can have them. You just have to put in the time. We could all be getting one deaths. But it's what happens after the one death that's like, like, imagine grinding for six hours to get a one death. You get it, and then you get runaway, bro. And it's just like, fuck. That's, that's the thing, right? That's, that's what it does. That's the problem. Yeah, it's, it's fucked up to say that the one death early hammer is the easy part. I mean, I, I guess against the world record, you have one component of RNG that if it goes your way, you'll have an advantage over the world record. And then there's little snippets of time saves here and there. Nice, backwards bro is good. That's what I like to see, good chest grab. World 4 RNG is the worst for early hammer because if he if he moves away after the first level, you have to chase him the all the way until you do 4-4 four, four, or get a movement of four and beat him after the fortress. Awful. Please hands. Rude. Rude. Even if I get no hands, it's very possible that I could choke after no hands. It's very serious at that point. This will be like... You guys ready? You guys ready? Oh my god. No way. No way. Okay. Okie dokie. Time to
Tried for overkill, I tried it. This will be, if I get this, this will be a, the, a crazy world record. Just because Mario 3 Warp List, dude. Are you kidding me? I got good old boys, boysers. A Bowsers. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> no way. Is that it? Did I do it? Dude, the shakes, dude. Oh my god, no way. God, dude, I'm shaking so much. Holy crap. Oh my God, dude, that is insane. GG on the new WR Mitch. I can't even. What? I can't even. Let's go. I can't even. Yahoo! Oh my god, dude. Guys, you have no idea how crazy, like, the war the Warpless World Record has been... I don't even know. Don't 
Yo, thank you guys so much for the love. Like, you have no... This is crazy. When when was the previous record set? Yo, level 4 hype train! Let's go! Thank you guys so much! Let's go! Thank you guys! I really feel like I've earned it, man. Thank you so much. You worked super hard. I didn't take a day off yesterday.